Hello Libra, welcome to your monthly tarot reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is for the month of February 2023. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. Now this is going to be a general reading, um, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each card and use your own intuition to take you beyond what I'm telling you. Okay. Remember that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And look at that, we've got the Fool Energy. Very wonderful way to start a reading, any tarot reading. Uh, can benefit from a little bit of foolishness, right? So, we're going to lay out our Dove and Serpent spread and see what kind of energies we've got going on for this coming week. Uh, well, this coming month, actually. Not just the week, but for the whole whole month. Um, let's do our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. We're going to use the ancient Italian tarot deck. And please excuse my voice. I've got a little bit of a head and chest cold uh, currently. We're going to do our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. We're going to leave that right there. We're not going to look at it until the very end. So stick around, and hopefully that will... Um, you know, tie the reading together and give us the confirmation that we're looking for at the very end of things. So let's just take a quick glance here. We've got some uh, major and some earth, some major, some air and water. Pretty good. We've got some uh, major, some earth, and some air. So pretty good. I think kind of obviously what we're lacking here is a little bit of fire. Okay. So I think that there's a lot of... Um, a lot of prospects this week. There's a lot of a lot of energies that are kind of up in the air, but we need like a little bit of a spark to kind of get us going, to get us motivated. It's almost like we're just so cold and frozen um, that we need a little bit of heat to kind of thaw us out so we can get started on on something, on whatever we're kind of working on, you know. Uh, but let's see where this thing goes. Okay, so we've got the full energy to start us out. I think that you're someone who is very very um, ambitious, spontaneous. I think you're full of surprises. I think that you have um, just like infinite interests and ambitions and um, passions, right? I feel like you're someone who um, just wants to learn everything. Like you've got just a million ideas. You've got a million different subjects that you want to study. You're interested in everything and everyone and you just, you want it all. Like this fool energy, it's that pure air energy that just expands to fill whatever container it's in. And well, what's your container? But the entire universe, you know? So you're really trying to expand and take in as much new experiences, people, places, things, information um, as possible. Okay. And that leaves it a little bit like, a little bit uncertain. Okay. Because we don't really know exactly which way to choose. I think you're someone, like I said, who has a million different ideas. How do we narrow it down? How do we get that one, that one idea all the way through to the end, to manifestation, to visible appearance, right? But I think you're full of surprises. I think people maybe from the outside looking in to your life will think, wow, that, that person, they don't know what they're doing. You know, they may be, you may confuse people by your actions by the quickness with which you can shift directions, okay? Intellectually, spiritually, emotionally, maybe physically too. Maybe you're really kind of a, a athletic, light on your feet kind of person. I'm getting this, um, this feeling of like running. So I don't know if you're, if you're a runner or if you do some kind of sports like that. It's kind of track and field stuff. But I'm getting this sense of just running so quickly through the air. You know, where I can like feel the air on my face from, from running so fast. I'm not a runner. Um, but I'm getting this feeling like you are in some way. Maybe not literally like on a track, but something, some kind of quickness there about you physically. It could be a sport of some kind, you know. Uh, but anyway, I think this is all part of this air energy in you where um, you just love the spontaneity, right? It's not so much about the finish line or the goal for you. It's just the process of doing it, the experience of moving in that field, right? Not the finish line. It's not that the, the tape at the end. Um, it's the feeling of the air on your face. It's the feeling of your muscles working. It's the feeling of your body like gliding through space. 
You know, that's what you're really after, not so much the result or the goal or the finish line, but that process, that experience while you're doing it. And that's a very foolish thing. From the outside looking in, people may think that you have no direction, you have no ambition, that you have that you're not focused on success in any way. How dare you? You know, um, it, it could be that you you don't have the kind of uh, goal oriented life that like maybe society thinks you should have or your parents think you should have, uh, or that your friends or you know other family members think that you should have a particular goal and you go and you do it and you succeed and that's life. I don't think it's that way for you. But I think you have um, a, a bag full of tricks. I think you have a lot of surprises and aces up your sleeve. And speaking of the aces, we've got this ace of, of pentacles. I feel like you're starting to narrow it down to something. I feel like you've got all of this air energy. And this month is really, you're pulling this, this ace from your sleeve. You're pulling this out of your bag of tricks. And this is going to be that focus for you. Right, And I don't think you're doing it to kind of um, prove anything to anyone or you're not doing it because society or family has pressured you into like picking one major or picking one goal or having one purpose in your life, you know. I think you're doing it um, because you found something that you're really passionate about and you're trying to temper this wild air energy that you have, this unpredictableness, right? Because again, with that fool energy, People from the outside looking in, they may think you're a little foolish, a little careless, even a little wild. But you know what you're doing. You know you know what's meaningful to you. And I think you're going to be, be pursuing a path this month with this ace here. That is going to surprise everyone. And we have other aces too. We have an, an ace of swords down here. You're working on something that's going to really surprise everyone. And now I'm very curious what this is. We're going to see if we can um, if we can figure this out. But I think you're going to begin this work this month. This is like um, you know um, breaking ground. This is the first shovel full of dirt. Okay. This is the first step. This is the the first seed you're planting. The really the first physical effort. It could be that you've been planning this for a while, right? Something that you've you've always wanted to do, or, or it could be a spontaneous idea that just came to you. Um, but I feel like you, you had that flash of insight or revelation relatively recently, okay? Maybe the last few days, last couple of months, you had this idea. It's a great idea. Seems like it came from nowhere. Ace of Swords down here beneath the surface. It just kind of bubbled up from your unconscious, and you're like, that's what I want to do. Now, we need that fire energy to sustain us for the long haul, okay? Otherwise, this is going to be something that's going to last a day or two, and then you're going to move on to something else because you've got this tremendous fool energy, this air, the tremendous air energy. Um, so we've got to find some fire somewhere that's going to just, like that eternal lamp, you know, that's just going to keep burning and burning and burning so you can see this thing through. Now, uh, this was something that came up from your unconscious. It was rather unexpected. It was a flash of an idea. It felt like it was coming from spirit, from the divine, from heaven, right? And this ace of swords, it's like the crown chakra is illumined and activated. And this is just like that divine idea coming to you. And you just think, people looking at it might be like, that's crazy. That's just an insane idea. Um, but you really feel that it's, uh, it's purposeful. It's meaningful. It could have just tremendous synchronicity surrounding it. It's just, it's, it's like a spiritual experience, this idea that came to you. Okay. And that's what we're breaking ground on. I think this month, probably towards the beginning, middle of the month, I think you'll be, you'll be breaking ground there because I think that this flash, this idea has come to you in the recent past few days, few weeks, maybe. Um, so that's, that's, I think, where you're at. Now, directly above that on the path of the dove, on the vertical axis, as you can see here, directly opposing this ace of swords is this ten of swords. This is uh, kind of a lack of follow through. Okay, I think that you're someone who gets a flash of an idea like this, 
like this down here. Um, you plan everything out. You get almost to the finish line, right? Ten of Swords. You get. You're almost there, and then you just give up. You lose interest. You move somewhere else. But that's because it's not about the result to you. Maybe you feel like once you cross that finish line, that feeling is over. That's not going to be satisfaction and joy and fulfillment. It's going to be disappointment. Not disappointed because you crossed the finish line. Disappointment because now that race is over. You want to just keep running. So maybe you turn around and run back to where you started, right? But you just, you don't want to cross the finish line because then, well, then the, the race is over. Okay. So I feel like this is a lot of um, getting really close to the end and then not, not finishing. Okay. And that's, it seems like that's kind of um, a typical, typical scenario for you. You know, I feel like that's kind of um, how we've been working out recently. But in the recent past, let's see what this art or temperance card is all about. I think there was something that happened in the recent past where you're starting to, you're starting to understand this cycle, this process, this kind of common scenario for you. And you're trying to do something about it. You're trying to get a little bit more focus. You're trying to blend a little bit of the fire and the water. A little bit of the kind of active, raging spontaneity. And some of that passive, uh, emotional, the feelings part of it, right? It's trying to, trying to weigh your head and your heart a little bit, too. Um, so intellectually, maybe you know, uh, reasonable, yeah, I should focus on something, finish it, and, and reap the rewards of it, you know? At the same time, you can still experience that water aspect of it, the emotional connection, the experience. How does it feel, you know? So there's a way to have your cake and eat it too, I guess is the, the phrase that we're looking for. So something happened in the recent past where, um, I don't know if it was maybe some kind of a, a physical thing or not necessarily like a physical illness or an injury, but something, there was some kind of a scare recently, maybe a financial scare, maybe a health scare. Um, you know, I, I sincerely hope that there's nothing uh, medical going on. If there is, seek professional care, obviously, right? Uh, but I feel like there, there was a scare recently, maybe financial, maybe, um, maybe something like an earthquake or something. There was just something that kind of snapped you awake. Something. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But first, the near future, the um, kind of immediate future, the more, the more near outcome is this court card, is this Knight of Cups. This is some fire energy, right? The Knights are the fire aspect of the suit. So this is the fiery aspect of the water, of the cups. So this could be you really moving forward with this blended idea of head and heart, with this blended idea from this, with the fire and the water. It could be you taking all of this water, this experience, this feeling, this, you, you want the experience, you want the immersion in what you're doing, but then also taking it with that fire element, right? Going the distance, seeing it through to completion, not, not fizzling out or turning around before you finish. Okay, so this really could be um, a way that you, and through this kind of scare or this, whatever this kind of um, abrupt experience was, you're now trying something different. You're trying to um, carry your heart forward with this fiery energy or vice versa. You know, maybe you're carrying this fire energy with this immersion, with this feeling but now you're doing it in such a way that you're, you're going to cross the finish line. Um, but you're not going to lose that feeling of being immersed in it. Okay, so there's, there's some kind of a strategy here. Okay, there's some kind of a plan, I think. And the Art or Temperance card, this is really, this is about strategy too. It's how are you going to have both? How are you going to blend those energies together and get everything you want? Have your cake and also eat the cake, you know, because that's, that's what I want too. Um... So I think that this is really you doing that, okay? I think this is your effort. That card's kind of representing your effort. Now, we're going to go to the path of the serpent here. 
And the general energy that we have is this princess of swords. This is you setting out on a new journey. This is you uh, doing the work related to this breaking ground, this first step, the first step on the path here. And it's going to look strange. It's going to feel a little awkward because it's you're trying something different now. You're a little bit more goal oriented than you are just, you know, uh, experience oriented, feeling oriented. Uh, this is, in some ways, your reluctance to conform, right, to these expectations. But again, these expectations are ones that you've put on yourself. It's not, you're not giving in to society's expectations or your family's expectations or whatever. This is something you've decided for yourself that you're going to try to, um, you're going to try to have just a little bit more structure, a little bit more focus. But it's going to feel strange. It's going to be really awkward to try to put all of this into practice. And that's just it. It's about practices. We have to, you know, we have to kind of wobble our way through things at the beginning. Our first few steps are going to be a little shaky, but you're going to get the hang of it. And then you're going to figure out how to make this work and how to really create, uh, create something tangible while still holding on to this intense curiosity, this intense, like free spiritedness that you have. Okay. So this is kind of the first step on that path. And I think this is a little bit of a reluctance to do that, a reluctance to um, what feels like a restriction of your, your expressiveness, of your spirit. You know, this fool energy now becoming this kind of more reserved, kind of narrowed down, more restricted princess of air. So you're taking that air energy and you're trying to consolidate it a little bit into something uh, with some results, with some goal in mind. And that's the first step, I think. Now, in the environment, we've got this five of pentacles. Something happened in your environment recently. This is that scare that we were talking about. It feels like an earthquake. It feels like the ground kind of rumbled beneath you. It could be an, uh, uh, a health scare, injury, illness. It could be a financial difficulty or something that... Um, was scary and threatening, but it, it didn't result in disaster, but oh, it could have. So it kind of woke you up. It was that scare uh, that we're talking about. So I don't know exactly what this is, but there was something recently, maybe five, maybe the maybe within the last five weeks. Could be. It's a little, you know, last month or so. Something happened that kind of woke you up to, um, okay, it's time now to, to get, get focused and actually get to it, you know. Uh, the next card is this uh, Queen of Pentacles. This is in your fears, worries, and concerns. This could be a maternal figure. Uh, it could be that you're kind of worried about disappointing this maternal figure. More than that, though, it could be that you're worried about becoming this maternal figure. If there, if there are an older feminine energy in your life that you really don't want to become like them. So this could be uh, older sibling. It could be, uh, you know, mom, grandma, great grandma, an aunt or something. But you just see how their life is and maybe just how goal oriented they have been and what it's done to their personality, what it's done to their spirit. And you don't want to become like them. Okay. And this person maybe is a little bit materialistic, maybe a little bit shallow, maybe a little bit ruthless and just focused on material wealth and success and goals. And you don't want to be like that person. And it could be why there's been this resistance, because this is uh, like a maternal figure that you've maybe always sworn, I'm not going to be like them. Okay. And, you know, I don't think you will ever be like them. We have the priestess card at the very end of the path of the serpent. You have a direct connection with your spirit, with the divine, with God, goddess, deity, universal mind, universal energy, guardian angels, uh, spirit guides, whatever you want to call it, higher self, true self. Uh, you have such a connection with that, that there's really no risk of you falling away from this. Okay. This I think is a real like psychic ability for you. I think that in your life, you've always had, sorry, I'm starting to get more congested the longer I talk. Uh, you've always had a connection to spirit. And I think as long as you maintain that connection, you've got nothing to worry about. 
Okay, so this is your spiritual practice, your religious beliefs, your religious practices, your rituals, your divination. Maybe you read tarot or tea leaves or um, geomancy or I Ching, something like that. Uh, or just through, through meditation and dialogue and communion, through nature, whatever it may be. Ritual, worship, prayer. You maintain your connection with spirit and I think you, you don't have anything to worry about. This is what is going to be guiding you ultimately. Okay, and it's very important to, to, to keep hold of that. Otherwise, yes, may, maybe you will fall too much into this earth energy. Okay, but you can do this and you can maintain that connection to spirit. And that's going to be, I think, the, uh, the crux of the matter. That's really what is what, what's going to hold all of this together. Okay, let's do this mystery card now um, before I sneeze. Um, I don't know what this could be. Let's just, let's take a look. Maybe something uh, fire related. Okay. Maybe something fire related. No, that's that temperance card again. Beautiful ancient Italian tarot deck, the temperance card. This is really, you know, echoing what we were talking about here. How it is possible for you to, um, to have your cake and eat it too. Like there's just no other way to say it. Uh, you're going to have all of this freedom and curiosity and free spiritedness and openness and expansiveness and exploration and adventure. And you can also stay on a path, follow something through and get to the end and, and reap the rewards from it. You know, um, just because you're, you are what's maybe feels at the beginning feels like conforming. You're still going to have the connection to spirit. You're still going to have all of this freedom and all of this feeling. And it really is through the spirit, the connection with divinity that we have here, that is the glue that is holding the fire and the water together. Okay. And this really is a beautiful card. And you're, you're going to be able to immerse yourself completely in this spirit of adventure and, uh, you know, the feeling of the wind on your face as you run. But it's okay to cross the finish line now and again, because you know what, There's, there'll be another race after. So you're not going to lose anything, but you have a lot to gain. All right. Now we're going to do a quick extended. If you want to stick around, click on the link that's right up here, and you can have access to all the extended readings. This was your monthly tarot reading for February 2023 on Dove and Serpent Tarot.